What happens if he does bug? He's a catty little guy, so I'm dang sure gonna make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, we're committed now. Oh, I got It's Amory. We are coming to you from beautiful Wickenburg, Arizona. And today is going to be a first for Charlie Brown. Stay tuned. I'm going to take you along. You're going to see a different ankle today. Let's go meet up with Cisco. He's going to show us the steps he prepared Charlie Brown for, for him to get his first ride today. I'll take you in the round pen. I'm going to try to video while I help Cisco. Will It's definitely going to be something new and kind of a whole new angle, but... Hope it turns out good. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for coming along. All right, hi everybody. Cisco here. Uh, oh, we're gonna show you guys an actual first ride today on a two-year-old we got here. Uh, so here's Charlie Brown. He's one of our personal horses. We got him from a friend, and he always just halter broke when we got him or whatever. And he's probably got about a week, week and a half so of groundwork. Kind of inconsistent groundwork though. Life kind of got in the way and whatnot, and weren't able to stay consistent with him, but. That's all right, it's not the end of the world. We'll keep going with him, but anyhow, I'll show you guys kind of a quick deal of the groundwork stuff and whatnot of what I've done and whatnot, but we'll kind of go through it pretty quick and whatever. He's he's dang sure ready to get on and ride. And I feel pretty confident and confident in him, but anyhow, let's go ahead and go and I'll show you guys. All right, let's go to the round crawl here and kind of go through a quick review and then we'll bring him back, saddle him up and go through another quick review and then we'll head back to the round crawl and climb aboard. All right, here we are in the round pen, Mr. Charlie Brown. Just try to get lots of changing of direction and having to call, kind of follow me around a little bit. He's not perfect at it by no means, but we'll keep working at it here. Yeah, so he kind of wants to follow me. All right, send him out. There we go. All right, then we'll step out in front of him. There we go. It's kind of making a big old wide turn. That's all right. It ain't perfect by no means. We'll work. Just keep working at it. Step. Step. Go. There he goes. And we'll ask him to go. There he goes. Step. There we go. There you go. And let's see if you can. There we go. Thought about going the wrong way. Decided to do it right. There we go. And then we'll step out in front and let us face him. There we go. Hey. He's licking his lips. He knows. There we go. Just kind of leave him be for a minute. Catch his air. Yeah. He's getting better. He knows the general concept of what I want out of him. There. Kind of follow me around here a little bit. That's what we want. Just come to me. There. Kind of in the middle here. Let him breathe there a little bit. Give him a little scratch. Show him what a good boy he is. Yeah. There we go. He follows me around pretty good. So 
I'm just going to roll through it pretty quick. Had to get a little desensitizing here, fart around with him. go lots of this stuff here there you go over his head here because we're gonna have to swing the rope on him pretty quick We did pretty good. There we go. You can kind of follow me here. That's what we want. Like I said, by no means is it perfect, but you'll get there. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get them saddled. All right, I'm gonna switch halters out here and stuff. I kind of like to, oh, I'll put my, an old snaffle bit on here. Sometimes while I'm working them, just kind of let them pack it, let them feel it. There we go. Put it on them. Then I'll just put my other halter over them here. I like to do this, just like that. And sometimes when you're kind of lunging around, it might pull on it a little, give them a little pull or something, just kind of something to feel. Some guys might completely disagree with that. But I kind of like to do it. It's just my preference. They need to feel a pull, hard pull every now and again. They don't just completely overreact about it and decide to flip over on you or something. I, think, I don't think it hurts them at all to wear that with the halter over. In my personal opinion, but everyone's different. It's not right or wrong. All brushed off here. There we go. I'm just going to roll through this pretty quick. He's been sacked out to this quite a bit. He's had it on. He's a little reactive to it. But. More we do with this, the better he'll be. Just kind of go through it pretty quick here. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and grab our saddle here. Okay. Right over here. And I throw it on both sides. I change it up all the time. Just because it's good for them to know on both sides. You know. And I've saddled him quite a bit. But, huh? I don't know, seven or so. You can tell he knows what's going on. Let him know we're coming. I kind of like to give this a tug every now and again. Just kind of let him know we're coming with it. Because once we get a wrap around it we're committed there's no going back i don't pull them real real tight i just give it good enough where my saddle ain't gonna fall off i'll do the back cinch let them know i'm coming i'm gonna stir it back down bring my best coat across there we go all right Gather up our stuff here. We'll take our stick and to pay attention to him after you got him saddled. He should just walk off. Charlie Brown, he's pretty laid back, which is good. So we want him. All right, so we come into the arena here. It's a little more wide open and stuff. Sometimes in horses, they think they can get away. They're not so confined into the round pin, you know. And, you kind of might get a little more reaction out of them if they have any in them, you know, so we'll go ahead here and do a little 
desensitizing, sacking out here. Trying to go through it pretty quick because we've done a lot of this. You can see he's not real reactive of it, which is good. But we're going to try to scare him. So dang sure don't want him boogering when we're on him and cause a wreck, you know. We'll try to do it while we're not on him because prepare him for the first ride. You can see he's pretty good. About all this stuff here. And we're gonna put my rope over the top. It's good. Roll on over here to the other side. Atta boy. And click here. There we go. There we go. Pretty good about that, ain't he? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Getting some taps. Oh, I don't like that, did he? Just keep tapping it. Caught him off guard there, didn't I? Which means I need to do more of this. There we go. Yeah. This other side here. They come in here. There we go. Keep going until he stops, and then I'll stop. Give him a little relief. There we go. Some more here. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. We'll go ahead and send them off here. All right. There we go. There we go. He does pretty good here. And then we'll let him go. I've been kind of letting him come into me there a little bit, get some scratches. At first, I don't let him do that until I know they're pretty well behaved and whatnot. But we're going to readjust our saddle here, pull it a little tighter. It's kind of bouncing around on him. There we go. All right. Then we'll go this way. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good at this. I just want him to look. Boy, come into me. Alright, we'll go again. I want him to lope. Lope and maybe get a little farther out there. Charlie Brown, not being a little lazy. Oh, look at him, oh boy. What the greatest heel there, Charlie. Oh. All right. We'll go ahead and go this way here. There we go. Keep them going here. And we'll yield. And he comes up to me. There we go. Oh, not really. Give me two eyes there. There we go. That's better. All right. Like I said, he ain't perfect. But that's all right. 
just gonna see if he'll kind of step out in front of him here and get him to turn back a few times. He's pretty good at this. We'll step out. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want. He's pretty athletic. You can see he really wanted to get down and roll back around there. Get him moving here. Lots of turning. Step out. Oh, he missed it. A little shorter here. Step out. Step out. Bump on him. On the move. There we go. Do it again. Step out. There we go. That's a good one. <laughs> Do it again here. Step out. Make him move out. Oop. And if you drop your lead rope, it's not the end of the world. Get a hold of it. Step out. Ask him to move. Out boy. Let's do it again. Out. Out. There. He's trying. I need to connect his feet to that halter a little better. He'll get it. Takes time. So then we'll go ahead and have him yield. There you go. He's wanting to come to me. I'll let him come up to me. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Give him some tabs. Yeah, he not like that, does he? Just whatever it takes. Try to scare him. Whatever he doesn't like. We'll go ahead and work on it. It's pretty good with all this right here. We're just gonna go through it pretty quick. All right. There we go. Give him some more tabs here. All right. All right. All right, that's pretty dang good. All right, let's go over here and I like to get up, up above them here a little bit. I think it helps out a lot. I never used to do it, but I started doing it quite a bit more and I think it really helped out. And my horse is not just being so boogery when I start these colds. They actually get to see me above them a little more. Some people think it's silly. I don't know, I guess I used to too, but it really works good for what we're doing or what I like to do here. I'm just kind of ask him to go. There we go. Just kind of yield. He's not really yielding that good there. He's kind of being lazy about it. Yield. Kind of bump him off of there. Yield. He's just kind of being a little lazy about it here. Yield. Here, usually do this on the on the ground before we get up here. Otherwise, you probably won't get him to do it very good because you can't reach him. But once he kind of knows what to do, it's pretty easy. Get him to do it. And so, time just get him to come up here to me. There we go. Oh, there we go. I just want him to come up here to me. There we go. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Yeah. The deal is to let him rest right here and show him that I can be above him here without him being too reactive. I just do all this stuff right here. Lots of stirrup flapping. But I've done this all on the ground before I got up here. You don't want him to jump on top of you. 
I said we're just rolling through this pretty good because he's he's ready to go. Give him some of these here. Cinch pulling. Wants a breast collar pulling. The tapping. Lots of this. I stick my foot up here on him. By no means don't get aboard him right here. You'll get yourself in a bad wreck. Alright, we'll just have him go here. It's kind of on our lead broker. Alright. Then we'll have him go. Just a little more and we'll get this other side. There he goes. Here. There we go. I'm kind of bumping on him here just a little bit. He's kind of being a little lazy about wanting to get around there. There we go. And stop over here a second. And let him come. So if he does that, just send him back through here. Oh, get down from here and I'll make him stop if he does it again. Tries to go through. There he goes. He's just trying to go through before I tell him to. It's all right. Seems like once you teach him something, that's all they want to do. Teach him to back up. That's all they want to do is back up. That's just the way they are. That's okay. It's not a bad deal. Just change it up on him. I just want him to come up here to me. Oh. There we go. Yeah, see? And we'll be doing lots more of this. By no means is this perfect of what we're looking for. But it's a start. Lots of these. I pull my saddle up. So tap in here and stuff. I put my foot out here and rub. I'm trying to get him to do something, but he's he's pretty well. I mean, we're winning. He does not real reactive, which is good. All right. Uh, there we go. All right, that's pretty good, pretty good. Let's see, we'll come over here and we got a plastic bag and I taped a bunch of noodles together, something different. Come to look at and see, we'll just go ahead and do a little desensitize into this. He's pretty good about this too. There we go. Collar, maybe up here. Touch him. Be on his head just a little bit. A lot of them don't like it in their face. Kind of got to just do it. Just flank. There we go. Look at this other side here. Pretty good with that. Let's try these noodles. Sometimes these really get him. He's like, oh, they're colorful and they make a funny noise to him. He's 
pretty good. I've done this quite a bit with him, these noodles. It's flying down his rear end here. On his head. Oh, he got a flash there, didn't he? Bring it again. Yeah, there we go. All right. There we go. So this, this. Go. This head. And we'll keep doing this as we keep going on with him and riding him and stuff. You know, every day I'll do a little bit more of it and stuff. So he's completely quiet. He's pretty quiet right now, but I want the flinching completely gone. All right. So then all this stuff that I just did and like really making him turn back hard and lots of the, the paper bags, the noodles, everything. I'm trying to get him to do something before I get on him because I dang sure don't want him doing nothing when I get on him, and if he did something, you know, and he wasn't real be well behaved, I probably wouldn't get on him because most likely he's probably going to do it while you're up on him. We're not trying to be any bronc riders here. We're trying to start really nice horses and stuff, you know. So if I didn't think he was ready to get on, I wouldn't get on him. But as you can see, he's he's pretty good, you know. Anything can happen, though. Even when you do all this stuff, you know he. He's liable to do something, but we're really trying for to make it to where he's not going to do nothing, you know. So you can see, it's a tapping, it's a jumping up and down. You know, he's pretty, pretty good. I kind of like sometimes I like to move a little faster around these colts once you once you get a starting point, you know, kind of move a little bit faster. Because other the other guys, they're going to move fast too, you know. You got to get them where they're used to fast movement too, you know, and stuff, you know, but you dang sure don't start moving fast right off the bat, kind of build up to stuff like that, you know. All right, let's head back to the round pen real quick. Now, I kind of like to get these horses to kind of bend their head around and flex a little bit before I get on them, and I, I do a lot of this with just my halter before I way before I even think about pulling on the their bridle and or their snaffle bit and stuff. But like I said, a lot of people may not agree with this. And people will say this and that and that's fine. You know, there's I don't know if there's necessarily a you know, I guess there is a wrong way and the right way, but everyone has a different way of doing things and I guess if it works for you that's good and keep going with it, you know, but I really like to do this just because it's always worked real good for me. But I've prepared them with the halter and learning how to flex before I wade before I do this. So don't just get your horse and bend them around and do this. It's probably not going to be a very good idea, but let's kind of bump him here, get his head here and stay with him. There we go. And what I'd like to do here, just want to yield his hindquarters and see, and I start out long here. My deal's not very short. I just do it enough to where he can bend his head around there. And I just want him to bend right there. I guess the reason I do this is I don't want him, if something did go very wrong, Emery will be here to help me too, but or whoever's going to help you, but I don't want him to know that he can get his head away from me, you know. I've seen guys get on horses, you know, and this is not bashing anybody or anybody, you know. I don't take it that way, but kind of maybe didn't prepare him quite right to give their head like that, and then they'd go to pull on him, and I've seen some colts just freak out and rare and start striking at their head and scare themselves and go to bucking and stuff, you know, because they can't figure out what's going on by bending their head all the way around like that. And see, he's really bouncing off it. He's given to it, you know, because we've prepared him. So I just, I'm not asking for a lot, you know, I just want him to get off of that a little bit, you know, and let him know he dang sure can't get away from it, you know, because I don't know very many guys that can, 
if a horse went to rearing up in the air doing something crazy you know this, their head being bent around that you're going to be able to hold them while he's rearing up in the air with his head bent around and not let him have it back so this right here is without me on him my safety first then his safety he knows he cannot get away from that you know he has to give to that you can see there's slack in that that's exactly what i want i'm just kind of getting him to move around here we'll get him to stop stop putting pressure on him see you know just walk up to him real easy and sometimes it takes him a second you know he's looking at being a little, little bit of an overachiever here that's all right i just want him to move around there and bend Tell him good job here all right there we go let's bump him off there see, there's a lot of slack in there and but the idea of it is if he did kind of get scared or something and he went to doing something silly, you know, I don't I don't want to be on him while he's doing something silly because you're probably not going to be able to hold his head bent around like that. You know, at least I, I can't. Maybe there's some other people might, but I guess I can't, you know. I'd, I like to let him know, you know, I got you type of deal. When I pull my head around, that means you need to pivot and move around and there's no certain length on this deal i start out real long of course and then i'll just slowly shorten it up just a little bit you know it's all a building up process i don't just start short and hang it in them and make them whirl around or something that ain't gonna work for you it's just it's just kind of a little safety deal i do you know and i like to tie his head around just kind of get him to move around move him hind quarters there you go just move around see now his head's a little shorter I might kind of throw my hand up in the air and try to get him to sling his head and bounce off of that deal and see if he'll... I've had horses rear up and really kind of get pretty reactive over that once they feel something on them like that, you know. But see, he's pretty he's pretty good. He knows he's... I've really flexed him on the ground quite a bit with my halter and stuff way before I did any of this. This is just kind of a safety deal I like to do. So he's doing pretty good. And there's slack in there. He knows to bounce off of that. He's not just laying on it. He knows to give to it. I'm just kind of being overcautious, maybe. I don't know. Just getting the bend there. There we go. Just keep going around. Like I said, I'll get him going. I always throw my hand up in the air. And I'm going to try to get him to do something, you know. Sometimes when they see you up there, they might throw their head up in the air and be like, Whew, what's that up there? No, but take off running with their head near, running sideways. That's exactly what you don't want them to do is running sideways while you got their head bent around. That's a bad deal. But he he's pretty good. I I don't think we'll have that problem. Yeah, I see he's got a pretty loose pretty loose. He knows to turn and give to that. I just kinda of bump him too just a little bit. There you go, see. Yeah. So he's doing really good. Kind of another little deal I do. Like I said, I don't think it's right or wrong. I'm sure a lot of guys will disagree with it, and that's fine. Whatever works for you, this is what works for us. I like to do it. All right, go ahead and get our snaffle bit on here. There we go. He's following us around here. We'll get our halter picked up here out of the way. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. See, he's getting better. All right, just kind of get ready here. Actually, to be truthful, I want to get on and off him a few times. Just kind of pull that off. It's important to just let them cult spit that bit out to you. That, that bridle's up back behind their front teeth and stuff. You don't want it clanging off their teeth and stuff. That really hurts them. You know, their teeth are sensitive. It's like hitting our teeth so it's going to be real easy with them you know let them split it out it should be able to adjust it right here there you go all right pull it down see that? yeah i kind of like it right there all right there we go i'm going to get on and off him a few times here both sides make sure he's all right and we'll climb aboard I'm gonna cinch him up a little tighter here I really like my back cinch I don't just hawk it into him but I like my back cinch tight 
Make sure up against their belly. So if you don't have that back cinch tight and the horse went to bucking with you, horse puts his head down and your saddle is the first thing to slide forward and the momentum of everything and you going forward your saddle is going to go right over that horse's head and it is not going to be fun so i kind of like my back cinch tight i don't say hock it in them or just pull it super tight right away you know i just ease it into them slowly you know but I'll practice getting on here and stuff let him know i got him I just kind of bend him around here get his head to me and jump up and down he's not real reactive about that is he just gotta let him know i'm coming here there we go yeah tap him slap my stirrup hit him in the, tap him right here tap him back there kind of simulating my feet right there yeah and step to the front give him his head back good boy there we go Doing pretty good. I've done this quite a bit too, though. Don't mean nothing, though. Anything can happen. But we prepared him for it. And I'll kind of do it again here. And so this, and I might kind of simulate like I'm getting on. If he took off and did something funny, I got his head bent to the left there. I'm just going to keep his head bent to the left. And I'd step off to the front of him there. Make his rear end go away from me. Don't want it towards me. Step to the front. There we go. We did pretty good on this side. We'll go to this side. This side right here. I don't think I'm the best at the left, right side. <laughs> it's a little more. Things a little more different over here for me. So I'm extra cautious on this side. Pay attention to what I'm really doing here. Sometimes it just feels funny to me. Remember, keep his head bent. Keep his head bent around, but no one coming. There we go. Oh boy. Pull some cinches. Tap on him. I know everything's all right. Step to the front. Take your first room. When you're doing this, you do not want to put your toe or foot all the way in the stirrup. Because you want your foot to come out of there real easy if he goes to... Because you're not getting on him. You're just sitting beside him there type of deal. You're not committed. If your foot's all the way in there and he goes to do something, you're stuck. You know, you're going to get hung, your foot hung up. And that's not what you want. Get his head bent. So I just barely put my toe in there to where it'll hold my weight and my foot's not going to come out and whatnot. Do not put your foot all the way in the stirrup when you're doing this. I don't, I don't, I guess is what I should say. I didn't sure don't. I'll kind of give him a rub with my foot here. Let him know what's happening. Yeah, my foot can rub you. Yeah. And I've, I've really kind of rubbed all over him and bareback and stuff with my leg and stuff before I did all that, you know. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to have Amory come in here and help uh help uh tend to guide uh charlie brown around because I'm, I'm just a passenger up there for the first few rides you know eventually we kind of wean him off of that and i'll be in more control but amory's gonna probably have to help me get him trotting around and moving and if he does to go to do something i'll just pull his head to my knee and emery will step out in front of him and we'll get him get him to stop whatever he's doing that he shouldn't be doing if he's trying to buck or whatever you know but here we go. All right. See, I kind of jumped right there. Maybe I need to I'll do a little deal with him about walking up to him fast, you know. Write a little note down on the back of your head about that, you know. Kind of, kind of turned and I started walking up to him fast and he didn't really like that, did he? All right. Here we go. All right. Just kind of move him around here after I cinch him up. After I cinch him up, I'll feel a little tighter. I just kind of like to move him around a second. Walk him forward here. You know, show him some stuff here. You know, see, this is assimilating my feet, tapping on him with my, you know, so he, he knows what all that's about. Those are my legs. If I don't do that, I might scare him, you know. Bring his head around. 
Tell them we're coming aboard. Charlie Brown. Okay. Let's see what happened here. I'm kind of going to do some of this here. Okay. Step off him. He's a catty little guy, so I'm dang sure going to make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. All right. Here we go. All right, we're committed now. now I got his head here. I kind of like to keep a hold of my night latch sometimes. Close by, I dang sure don't want to get bucked off. All right, Emery, move him around. There we go. Yeah, see? There we go. Now he knows how to move. I'm up here and I'm petting on him. I want him to fear me. There we go. He's going to keep his head bent around here. There you go. He's moving around. All right. I do a little more right here. Let's try it. There we go. See, he sees me up there moving around on him. I'm moving and I'm patting on him. Okay. Let's go the other way. Hang on. Let me get his head around here. All right. Go ahead. He's kind of sensitive, not too hard. Sensitivity of your horse. You don't have to put a whole lot of pressure on him, you know. If he's a little dull, then you're gonna have to. But should have brown, he don't seem real, real dull, you know. See, he don't take much. Keep his head bent around here. All right. A little more here. So we're just moving his hindquarters. See, this goes back to that deal where we kind of tied his head around with the, the rope and the snaps, you know. All right, the other way. Go the other way. Yeah, we'll go the other way. I'm going to go back this way. You know, if he sees me up here, he gets a little scared, you know, but with that other little safety deal with that we did, if he got scared, you know, he, he already knows he can't, he can't get his head away from me. You know, I got his head. It makes it a little more tougher for a horse to buck when their head's been around to your knee, you know. They can't, I'm saying it's impossible for him to buck, but they make it a little tougher. Yeah. All right. Let's go once more the other way. Here. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. See? Oh boy. All right. Okay. That's good. Okay, just kind of move around, let him know we're up here. All right, maybe get on the, coming to the right side here and we'll kind of just get him going a little and I'm gonna get his head bent, try to turn him around. If he doesn't, you need to step out in front of him maybe and help me, okay? There we go. I'm gonna pull him around. Yeah, I'm gonna pull him. Made it an idea. All right. Go ahead some more. We'll go that direction. All right, get behind the drive a little more. There we go. See, now we're going. And I'm going to reach around and I'm going to pull him to my knee. Or to my hip, more or less, I'd say. All right. Kind of a, almost like a one rain stop type of deal we're doing here. I just want to let him know I got him. All right, go ahead, drive me off. Here. Driving me off. There you go. Yeah, this is good. You're doing all right. You're doing real good. This is what we want. This is what we want. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull him around. There. Yep. See kind of a little resistance there, but all right. Go ahead and move his hips around again. There's hind quarters. All right. Drive me off some more. 
Okay. All right. Give me just a little trot here. And then we'll just bend him around again. You know, it's all in steps. There we go. Okay. Go ahead. Some more trotting. There we go. We'll go a little more here. And then I'm going to bend him around. There we go. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Get me going here. There we go. Like I said, I'm just kind of sitting up here. Emery's doing a lot of the work. I'm just going to bend him around a little bit. But as far as me making him go, that's none of me. You don't know that yet. Okay, go ahead. Trot. There we go. We'll let him go a little more. And we're going to bend him around here. There we go. Just going to bump on him a little bit. There we go. All right. I like that. Uh, we'll keep going this way just a little bit more. We'll get him, get him good on this side, and then we can go to the other side. All right. A little more trot. It's all right. <clears throat> Make a little noise while you're up here too. You don't want to just sit up here like a old dead pillow or something. You know, you want to let them know you're up here. I might kind of cluck to them here a little bit too. Get them going here. There we go. There we go. I like this. Now I kind of got my right hand. We're going to the right here. I got my right hand down on my rein to where I think I can pull his head around if he did something funny, you know. Get me going more. I want him to stay going here. All right. We're done pitter pattering around here. We got to move them feet. Stay behind him and keep driving. All right. See if you can get me into a little lope without causing a wreck here. Hang on tight. Hang on tight. There we go. Keep me going. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. And keep me going here. All right. Hang on. I'll pull him to a one-way and stop here in a minute. Or stop here. There we go. See? I just gonna let him know I got him. There we go. He softened up. That oh boy. Good job. Give him some pets. Let him know I'm up here. Move around. Can't make him pet on him. Really just remember what this is a new direction, new side. Don't forget that everybody. Just kinda get his head bent around here. There we go. Everything's different on this side. He ain't looking at me on this side, he's looking out of the other eye. All right, let's go a little more, drive them off. Remember, I ain't doing nothing. Everybody's doing it all. She's going to have to get around there a little more, though, and drive him. Make him go. Drive him off. Okay, I'm going to pull him around here again. See, now he's not really taking a pull in here. I'm going to stay calm. Everybody's going to have to help me out. Move his hip around and you make him yield. Okay, drive me off. Probably. All right, go this way. All right, there we go. Stay behind his hip, keep him driving. There we go. All right, go ahead a little more. Get him trotting around here a little bit. And I'll yeah, make him come around here. All right, help me out. Yield him. There we go. Let's yield the hind quarters. Make him turn. I got him. All right. All right, drive me off again. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. We're kind of cruising around here. 
Persian red right winger. All right. Oh, I'll go ahead and yield in there. There we go. Help me. There we go. There we go. All right. Drive me off again. All right. Remember, I don't have much control up here. Emery's really helping me. All right. See if you can get me into a little lope here. Real easy. If he does something, you got to step down in front of him. I got no control over him. There we go. There we go. We got him moving now. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Oh, that a boy. Yeah. Good job. He's doing really good. Kind of pet on him up here. Pay attention to what he's doing here. It's going to bump him. But no, I got him. There we go. See? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of moving around. Yeah, he's looking his lip. That's good. He's relaxed. Yeah. I kind of slapped my hand a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty dang good for a first ride. Going to trot, lope both directions. Kind of going to get his head, tip it towards me here. When you get off, kick your other foot all the way out. Put your tippy toe in this one. Get his head bent around. I like to wiggle a little bit, let him know I'm coming. And step to the front. And that a boy. Good job, Charlie Brown. And that's that. That was a pretty good first ride, I thought. Good job. Sweet. All right. Let's see, we'll just kind of let him spit it out on his own. Just lower it real easy. There. Put our halter on him. Yeah. Good job, Charlie Brown. So that's that. And we'll just keep building from there. Emery won't have to help me near as much. As we keep going along, and pretty soon it'll just be me. He did great. Well, that was Charlie Brown's first ride. Uh, uh, we just did our groundwork right and did everything right to the prepare them and whatnot. And as you can see, it dang sure paid off, I guess. Maybe we were lucky, maybe we weren't. But anyhow, uh, if you guys want to watch Charlie Brown continue and progress, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our channel and get be the first one to get all the good videos and stuff and little tips. and try to help you guys out along the way. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.